about the vaccine because I think I, I want to clarify a couple things. One, now they have the vaccine available that can prevent HPV. But I'd like to make note as well that just if you have HPV and you get the vaccine, that doesn't mean it's going to go away. Right. So we did talk about how many strands of HPV exist. We're talking 40, 50 strands mm -hmm. that can cause cervical cancer. So the current vaccine on the market is the Gardasil 9. Okay. So we're preventing about nine strands. Nine strands. Yeah. It came out in 2006, the very first Gardasil, and that one only had either two or four. So we've gotten better, and by it's all about prevention. Right. So the whole idea is to try and get vaccinated before you're sexually active before that that's emphasize the before part right so it can be given as early as age nine okay. uh, but the target age is 11 12 um, in the pediatrician's office ideally but if the patients are coming to me in my office i'm not seeing patients that young many parents are not vaccinating their kids that young right then i'm having these conversations okay here's a question for you as i'm learning about this as well can boys get vaccinated Absolutely. The recommendation currently is to vaccinate. Really? Yes. Okay. Young young girls and boys. If you vaccinate the boys, they don't have HPV. They're not going to be giving HPV to to the young girls. And the recommendations, I have to say, have now changed. Um, up, up until recently, right. it was only recommended up until age 26. And now the new recommendations is you can give it till age. 45. Age 45. Correct. We're still focusing on before. Right. We still want to say you want to get this before. For prevention. The ideal time is before you're in any contact right. um, with the HPV vaccine, uh, but better late than ever here.